Live from Vesteros, Sweden, exclusive on Afton Blooded Plus, Fight Club Rush presents three three minute rounds in the amateur catchweight division. Introducing first in the blue corner, he has a record of one defeat, weighing in at 64.8 kilograms, fighting out of Sweden, Marad Muhuddin. And his opponent in the red corner making his debut, weighing in at 64.8 kilograms, also representing Sweden, Zachariah Hazara. Your referee in charge of the action, Reben Saber. Okay, Reben, the light saber in charge of this action here between Murad Muyadin in the blue corner and Zakaria Hazara in the red. Touch the gloves, here we go. Immediate <laughs> jab connects there from Muyadin. <laughs> touch the, <laughs> yeah, touch the gloves. To the jab and oh, oh, these guys are not holding back. Oh yeah, that as was you a, mentioned, those powerful kicks. Oh, that right hand of of Hazara is yeah, it's actually forcing a clinch here from a striker. Yeah. Moyadini gets a takedown, and Hazara is not fighting as if he's expected to go three rounds here tonight. Well, I mean, if we look at some of his some of his countrymen, I mean, the guys like Safi Hosseini and uh, Machete and Rahul Yusofi. They leave it all inside the cage every single time. Those Hazaras know how to fight, and it was actually a, a Hazara Ruhula Nukpai who won Afghanistan's first ever Olympic medal, which was in 2008 in Taekwondo. Yeah, they love their, uh, their striking in Afghanistan, especially Taekwondo, Sanda, that kind of style. And I wonder if perhaps Muradin was caught a little bit off guard by the power that Hazara possessed. Nice job there. Lacing the legs together. It's tough for Hazara right now being pushed up against the cage. It's so hard to do anything on bottom when you got your head stuck like that right by the, uh, by, by the post there. Yeah. Full mount now yeah. for from Muyadin. Can't really see from my angle what... It looked like almost a guillotine, perhaps, from Hazara. Yeah, from Mount? Is that what I'm seeing right now? And he's using it to sweep? This is Oh my god, it is! Oh, wow. Yeah, we couldn't see from the angle, but my goodness, that grip. Yep. Dude, that was such an interesting position. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Yeah. Imagine getting submitted in a guillotine while you're in mount. <laughs> yeah. That would be awful. Now knee bar here. Yeah, yeah, but he is turning it. He can't turn it sideways. This is dangerous territory here. Toe hold. Toe hold attempt on that knee bar. Could transition to a straight foot lock here. Zara seems unfazed, and yeah, Moyadin is going to abandon it by the looks of things. And again, he fires off that shotgun of a right hand of his. And I do want to see these fighters stand up, actually. Ten seconds left. Oh, he really throws his whole yeah. body weight into that right hand of his. And again, he's on a guillotine. Oh! Nice knee at the end there. Maybe it was a little late. Yeah. I mean, thrown before the bell by the looks of things, or, I mean, you know, obviously not intended. In the heat of battle, sometimes you can drown out the sounds of the things outside the cage. Here was that takedown that we saw turn into a, a reversal from Hazara. Yeah. And I didn't even see the, the connection that he made, really. No, me neither. Interesting close first. And CM, what are your main takeaways from the first round? What should each respective fighter think about? 
I think Hazara should think about maybe holding it back a little bit on, on the feet, maybe not let everything loose with that right hook. It is also uh, pretty telegraphed. It is powerful, but he has yet to land it properly. Um, he needs to think about this, this fight might go three rounds. You can see already you know, his Muyadin is, you know, forcing the issue a little bit. He is moving forward, but yeah, so as you can see, Hazara has really powerful strikes. That one landed. He runs in <laughs> with that right hook. Oh, standing guillotine. That is one of the few downsides of being the taller fighter is that you do risk, statistically speaking anyway, to find yourself in a standing guillotine. But look at that, he takes it down. Mm -hmm. He needs to not burn his hands, his arms out here. Yeah, I think Hazara should let that guillotine go. Yeah. Because uh, Moyadin has killed that left leg of Hazara. That left leg is not in play. And that half guard is wide open. <laughs> and as I say that, Moyadin passes. Very nice adjustment there by Moyadin. Yeah, Moyadin comfortably here inside control. And it looks like he might be trying to get the yeah the crucifix. No, almost got it. And that Pancrase corner saying that they're expecting an explosion soon, and I do think that is the case as we see Hazar perhaps trying to push off the cage there. Yeah, I'm not liking the defensive groundwork here from Hazara. I felt like he, he let him pass the guard way too easily. Oh. And speaking of way too easily, <laughs> that sweep just shouldn't happen. But it happened, and here we are. I mean, he might lack some of the technical proficiencies on the ground. I would agree with that. But Hazara, he's got that dog in him. Look at that. Manages to reverse the position. That is... Oh, crafty, definitely. Oh. Yep. That triangle looks to be deep. This might be it right here. Yeah, that looks very tight. Yep. Needs to pull down on the head. Hazara is working hard to get out of this one, but he needs to be working correctly. He needs to get his posture back. Is he going to go out here? Oh, oh. armbar. Ooh, transition to the armbar there. Oh, that might oh. be it right there. Is that a that might be it. That's the tap. Oh my Whoa. god. That was hard to watch. Yes. There was some hyper extension going on there for sure. You did not want to tap. Well. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Reben Saber called stop the action at two minutes and fifty seconds of round number two. For your winner by armbar, Murad Muyadin. All right, I'm here for your winner, Murad Muyadin. Last time out in FCR, you ended up being defeated by the very well-credentialed Arsene Turganov, who just represented the Swedish national team. Now you came back showing what you're truly capable of and showing that that triangle of yours is hella tight. How do you feel after this big win? Uh, fucking uh, feels amazing, man. I don't know what to say. Uh, thank you, Westeros, for uh, coming, watching this fight. I want to thank my coaches. Who uh, helped me with this fight, Martin, my teammate, Randy, my teammate, Sebbe, who you know, you already know what Sebbe is, and Umar Bush, of course, and Dennis, who's been helping me a lot with the boxing, of course. Thank you. And you, that triangle of yours, it looked like it would have put anybody out, but not him. You ended up switching to the armbar, but got the tap, but he almost didn't tap to that either. How surprised were you that he took such a long time to tap? Uh, he's tough, man. He, uh, we've been working a lot with Umar, you know, switching through with the triangle to armbar and working around that. So obviously, it's, these techniques uh, is legit as it gets. So, yeah, well, practice makes perfect, just like your finish. Fantastic performance, and congratulations. We'll have you back anytime.
Big hand for Murad Moyadin.